Hello and welcome to the Answer Series Grade 12 Mass Literacy video on Investments, Part 1. The aim of Investments Part 1 is to understand the concept of a stock fell, calculate contributions and payouts of a stock fell, understand the concept of a retirement annuity, and work with retirement annuity calculations and graphs. So let's look at a stock fell. What is it? It is a typical South African club or society. This is where members contribute a fixed amount of money on a weekly, fortnightly or monthly basis into a pooled fund. So fortnightly is every two weeks. So the money that everybody has contributed to this pooled fund is not invested but it is used by different members each month for their personal use. So that means that in effect, it acts as a rotating credit union. So you contribute each month and when everybody has had a turn, so it rotates, it goes in a circle, by the time it gets to you, that money is then yours to use. So this means that it allows members to make big and expensive purchases. So in a matter of, it's an investment or a savings plan. Let's look at a worked example. Peggy and five of her closest friends form a stock file. They each contribute 40 Rand per month in order for each friend to have their hair done at the hairdresser. Determine how much Peggy will be able to spend at the hairdresser. So if we had to formulate a general formula for this, our total spend by the time it gets to Peggy's turn would be the contribution that each person has made times by the number of people that is in the stock file. So the contribution is 40 Rand per month and how many people? Remember, it is not five people because it is Peggy and five people. So one plus five gives me six people in total. So therefore, when it's Peggy's turn, she will have 240 Rand to spend at the hairdresser. Let's look at retirement annuities. So a retirement annuity is an investment fund whereby a person makes a monthly deposit into the fund, which then matures at the retirement age. And as it stands, it's usually around 65 years. The investor can then either be paid out a lump sum or receive regular monthly repayments. This then makes provision for a person when they retire. So in other words, you contribute each month to a fund and only when you retire will you then be paid out a full amount or monthly payments. So that means when you retire, you're unable to work, you're still able to get monthly income or a lump sum that you can then spend. Let's look at the worked example. Study the retirement annuity graph below. So we can see on this graph that as the time progresses, the value of the loan steadily increases, increases, so it's a curved increasing graph. First question, how old will the investor be when the fund matures to the value of 5,500,000 Rand? So let's have a look. 5,500, let's go all the way along till we hit our graph and all the way down that gives us 720 months. So that doesn't tell me how old the person is. So to calculate the age of the investor, it would be 720 months divided by 12 months in a year. So that gives me 60 years. So this RA, retirement annuity, pays out when the person is 60 years old. Number two, how many years could the investor live off the matured amount of 5,500,000 Rand if he's paid 25,000 per month. So let's start. The total payout value divided by the monthly payout of 25,000 Rand gives me 220 months that he can live off. 25,000 because that's how many times it goes into 5,500,000. They've asked for the number of years, so let's convert. 
220 months divided by 12 months in a year gives me 18,33 years. No need to convert the 33 years unless the question asks for years and months. So just over 18 years this person can live off that amount of money. So now that we have worked through these examples, it is time to test your understanding. Consolidate by practicing, write down the key facts at the start of the question, check that your answer makes sense and that you've answered the question. So let's do it. Turn to page 104, answer question 1.1 and 1.2 and then check your answers on page A16. Thank you for joining us for this Grade 12 Maths Literacy video. We here at the Answer Series look forward to guiding you through the rest of Investments Part 2 in our next video. So, see you soon! If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series your key to exam success.